Intros are something special that you and I can share. It's also about 10 seconds of your life that you can never get back. I'm really sorry about that. In case you guys are wondering where the heck Linus has been, he's on vacation in Asia. Or he will be, anyways. He'll make a glorious return to NetLink in a few weeks, April 17th, I think? That seems like a good number, let's go with that. To the news! NVIDIA has officially launched their GTX 960M and 950M GPUs in a lineup of slim gaming laptops from assorted vendors. Both GPUs are 28 nanometer chips and have 640 CUDA cores with the 960M clocked at 1096 megahertz and the 950M at 914 megahertz. Both run GDDR5 memory, but the 950M also has a DDR3 variant for less expensive laptops. Devices with the new chips inside include the HP Omen, Lenovo Y50, the new Razer Blade, and Asus's G501, which has a 4K screen. Don't think you're going to be doing much 4K gaming on a 960M, but if knowing you have a 4K screen helps you sleep at night, you should go for it. Back in November, Microsoft hinted that Cortana wouldn't be limited to Windows, but now we've got confirmation. Redmond's digital assistant will be heading to Android and iOS as a standalone app sometime after the release of Windows 10 later this year. Cortana will also incorporate technology from another Microsoft artificial intelligence research project called Einstein, which will enable Cortana to read and understand email at a deeper level than Google Now or Siri, apparently. Cortana's gonna be so smart she'll be writing physics theorems. Oh, snap. Yeah. As mobile chips get more and more powerful, heat output in phones and tablets is starting to become an actual problem. Fujitsu has developed a new heat pipe cooling system that it thinks can help. The design consists of stacked 0.1 millimeter thick copper sheets with coolant inside and tiny pores to encourage capillary action. This system is apparently capable of transferring five times more heat than current thin heat pipes and could enable much more powerful chips to be used inside mobile devices. Qualcomm needs to get on this stat. Samsung claimed their Snapdragon 810 was too hot for the S6. Speaking of the S6, what's this? It's the S6. Stay tuned for Jack's review early next week. There you go, there you go. Quick bits. Rumor time! A source has told Fudzilla AMD's flagship 300 series card, the 390X or whatever it's gonna be called, will have 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Maybe to compete with the Titan X's 12 gigabytes? Maybe. Chip hell forms have more dubious benchmarks of unreleased cards, and it hurts my heart because there's no evidence they're real. The Hover X Gaming Lap Desk on Kickstarter is a lap board for gaming laptops with a tablet dock that actually kind of looks pretty cool. And all six SSDs from Tech Reports Endurance Test have finally failed after 18 months of constant reading and writing. The last one to fail was the Samsung 840 Pro at over 2.4 petabytes of writes. Well done, soldier. You fought well. The article is long, but it's an interesting read, so you should check it out along with the rest of today's stories in the forum post linked down there. Beets are quite the nutritious snack. Although I would cook them first, maybe in a borscht. Mmm. Borscht. This week is NCIX's St. Patrick's Day event. There's lucky savings all week long, and you can tell, because it says right there. The Canadian deal is an LG 42-inch 1080p 60Hz smart TV for $4.69 and zero cents. That's 80 bucks off. And the American deal is a Logitech's G700S wireless gaming mouse for $54.99. That's 45 bucks off. Click here or the links in the description to see all of this week's lucky deals. I'm sorry, guys. I'm part Irish. I can't help it. It's instinct. All right, that's it for Nandling Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And tomorrow is Pi Day, so happy 3.14159, or just regular pies that you want to eat, like cherry. Key lime, apple, shepherds, pumpkin, lemon meringue, or even beets. No. No? Normal pie. It's a nutritious snack, though.